Hello guys, this is Sunny Kumar from MNC Part 2 and from IIT BHU and I am back again with another question replace the strings of January circuit 2021 and I am going to discuss this question ok we have been given two strings S and T of lowercase latin letters and both contains a single question mark you need to replace this question mark with some lowercase latin letter in both the strings and so you can apply the following operation any number of times swap any two adjacent characters so if we can make a s equal to t we have to print yes otherwise print no and the constraints are somewhat some of the lengths of string in all case test case it does not exceed 5 into 10 power 5 and there is exactly one question mark so let us understand this question how we can approach this suppose we have a string let us take one string from a example Suppose I have the string called A, B, this and this. Let me copy this. Okay. So I have these two strings. Suppose, uh, okay, let me understand. Let me tell you one thing. Two strings S1 and S2 can be equal after certain number of adjacent swaps only when two strings are anagrams of each other ok if two strings are anagrams of each other then only we can say that we can make the two strings equal by uh, after performing certain number of adjacent swaps in both the strings suppose we have a string bbcc and we have another string called bc a and another c and another b and uh, we have one more a and we have one more c so you can say that we can move any character to any of its position and we can move any character in this or string to any of its position after performing a certain number of adjacent steps. So if the string, uh, if one of the character in the string S1 is not equal to, is not present in another character, is, uh, sorry, if any of the character's frequency doesn't matches with another, uh, it doesn't matches with the same character's frequency in another string we can say that we cannot make the two strings equal after performing certain number of adjacent steps. so the string must be anagrams of each other now but this question is somewhat different we have been given these two strings so what we are going to do is so if we, have, we are going to leave this question mark and we are going to add all the Free characters frequency in a hash table or for simplicity we are going to take hash table as map of character comma integer and uh, and while we iterate in this array we are going to uh, if we are not facing this question mark what we are going to do is uh, we are suppose we are facing a then we are going to decrease its frequency uh, in already made hash table and if uh, the frequency goes to zero we are going to decrease the, we are going to decrease the, uh, that character from the hash table and whenever we encounter suppose we are now encountering whenever we encounter that that character is not present in the hash table of string s1 what we are going to do is we, we are going to check if the question mark has already been used or not if the question mark has not been already used then we are going to use this question mark and we are going to decrease we are going to mark that uh, boolean variable that is we are going to mark that boolean variable as true suppose we are boy we have boolean bool boo equals false which is says that that question mark is still not used and if we encounter character suppose we are encountering character a suppose uh, like we can say that Suppose we are encountering character A and uh, we are decreasing one frequency again we are encountering character A we are decreasing one frequency again we are countering character A we found that uh, there is only two characters here and we have already used all the characters so what we are going to do is we are using this question mark and if this question mark is used we are going to set this boolean variable as true okay and again if we encounter the same case that 
that character frequency is not present in the hash table and the boolean variable is already already true it means that with a question mark is already been used then the, uh, we arrive at conclusion that we cannot use another there is no more question mark we can use to replace that character a known character with any other character to make the frequency of the strings equal so that we can arrived at uh, conclusion that uh, strings can be made equal by certain number of adjacent so so the question is simple let's move on to the implementation section of this question let me bigger the screen size so we have here first i have taken the n number of uh, le lengths of the string and we have taken a hash hash mask which is character comma integer and a string s and we have taken the input s now for each now we are iterating in the first string and we found that whenever we are encountering a question mark we are incrementing a counter variable and else we are pushing all the entries into a hash map and which is storing its frequency and now we are iterating in the second string and whenever if whenever we are encountering the character we are first checking that if that entry is present in the map or not if this entry is present in the map we are going we are going to decrease decrease the frequency by one and if the frequency goes to zero we are going to decrease the entry from a hash map okay now if this if the character is not present in the map we are going to decrease uh, we are going to check uh, for uh, the question mark if the question mark is not been used then we are going to use that question mark and we are going to decrease its count decrease its count and if if both the condition falls we can say that we can never obtain uh, the character by even replacing the question mark with an another character so we arrived at conclusion that in this case we cannot make the strings anagram of each other so only when the after certain number of adjacent charts we can make the string equal only when the two strings are anagrams of each other so in this case we found that we cannot make the strings anagrams of each other so we are printing no and we are going to h so basically we are terminating the program and if these all conditions holds true we are going to print yes yes we can make the strings anagrams of each other so basically this is a very simple question so the link for the code is given in the description section below and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do comment in the comment section below if you have any doubts and do subscribe to our youtube channel thank you for watching this video